All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And let's take a look at what's going around the world and news today, shall we? We'll start out with the ironies of all ironies. Jeff Bezos. Amazon, dude. Jeff Bezos and Amazon do not want their workers voting by mail on unionization. Amazon says mail-in voting wouldn't be valid or fair. Huh. Wow. I wonder what changed. Oh, I know. It's his company that the workers want to unionize and he don't want them to. So now, suddenly, mail-in voting wouldn't be valid or fair. Hmm. Didn't someone named President Trump mention something like that? Uh, I might have that wrong. Okay, moving on. Antifa has claimed now that they are the ones who stormed the Capitol. So now what? All of it's made up, folks. The mainstream media is the enemy. They just make shit up and pound it, pound it, pound it, pound it. And they never retract and they never correct. Even after finding out, they won't say nothing about this. And this is what the whole impeachment is about, the Trump incited the riots. No, he didn't. These fucking assholes got paid by that peckerhead George Soros. And they're the ones that caused it all. It's all one big setup. But we knew that. All right, let's see what the potato head's wrecking nowadays. Potato head rescinds Trump's order banning Chinese communist involvement in the U.S. power grid. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. What could go wrong? President Potato Head has revoked a Trump area executive order that sought to keep foreign countries and companies out of America's bulk power system, principally in entities associated with the Chinese Communist Party. As part of his executive order on protecting public health and the environment and restoring science to tackle the climate crisis. Another made up. Democrat joke. The executive order, which executes key tenets of President Potato Head's climate change agenda, was released on the former Veep's first day in office. So, subpoint C notes that Executive Order 13920 of May 1st, 2020, securing the United States bulk power system, is hereby suspended for 90 days. Because, yeah. Why would we want to secure our bulk power system? Let's let the communist China have access to it. Good job, potato head. What could go wrong? All right, let's see what else he's up to. Oh, we're now back to endless wars. U.S. military convoy enters northeast Syria. This is one of the primary reasons why Trump is no longer president. He took on the military-industrial complex that binds these wars profitable. That's what it's all about, people. They proved too powerful and too well-connected to be defeated. And they cheated really well. And so now Americans will once again expend their blood and treasure in conflicts that cannot conceivably be solved by American intervention and in which we have no national security or any other interest. So all you parents out there, I'm sure you're ready to send your children off to be slaughtered because of potato head. U.S. military convoy enters northeast Syria. A large U.S. military convoy entered northeastern Syria on Thursday, Syrian State News Agency reports, citing sources on the ground. According to the report, the convoy included some 40 trucks, armored vehicles, and was backed up from air by helicopters. Uh, here we go. The endless cycle of killing our children for nothing. 
All right, moving on. As Potato Head became president, Medical journal, journal quietly retracted the study that claimed hydroxychloroquine is ineffective. It, it, only, it only didn't work because Trump said it would work. So then they had to debunk that because you can't let the orange man have anything good. Their retraction admission validates what President Trump stated in the very beginning of the pandemic. So once again, Trump was way out ahead of this, and they shut him down. And no one will ever convince me that this whole thing is not political just to get rid of him. A leading medical journal has issued a retraction of their endorsement for a study that concluded the antiviral drug hydroxychloroquine was ineffective against the C19 virus. This retraction appears to validate the claims that President Trump made about the medication being a frontline drug in the battle in the pandemic. So now that Slow Joe's the president, you can use hydroxychloroquine. Whoa, a little tongue twister there. Again, now it's good again. And the prices range from 30 cents to 6.63 per dose. I'm telling you, they're going to make Joe the hero of this. They already changed the PCR testing so that it'll be no fake positives anymore. Everyone's going to be negative. Joe's going to be the hero. He got rid of the virus. All right, let's move on, shall we? John Cardio. Hydroxychloroquine is now okay. PCR tests don't work. Potato Head Biden has no plan. And the lockdowns are ending. But none of this was political, right? No, not political. Not a bit of it. All right, let's watch something a little humorous, shall we? Donald John Trump incited the erection. He incited the erection. Donald John Trump incited the erection. I love you too, but you're not my type. <laughs> All right. The conservatives are way better at memes than the humorless liberals. And finally... I've been waiting for this my whole life. Oklahoma Bill would establish a Bigfoot hunting season. There he is. This is true now. This is not the Onion. It's not the Babylon Bay. An Oklahoma State Representative introduced a bill that would establish a hunting season for one of the state's most infamous species of alleged native wildlife, Bigfoot. Representative Justin Humphrey introduced a bill to the state legislator that would call on the Oklahoma Wildlife Commission to designate a Bigfoot hunting season. The mythical ape has been the subject of numerous sightings in southern, in southern Oklahoma for years, and the region hosts an annual Bigfoot festival for fans of the cryptid. The Oklahoma Wildlife Conservation Commission shall promulgate rules establishing a Bigfoot hunting season. The commission shall set annual season dates and create any necessary specific hunting licenses and fees. Well, they shut down all the jobs so the taxes are going away, so they got to create some revenue somewhere, so let's get some Bigfoot hunting licenses and fees. All right, that's going to do it. For this edition of the Aimless News, subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, because remember, the Aimless News must be told. 